News from Hyderabad now, where a shootout was reported uh, in the Banjara Hills uh, area this morning outside the KBR Park. Reports say an unidentified man shot about three rounds on uh, the car that was being driven by Vice Chairman of Arbindo Pharmaceuticals, Nitin and Reddy. Reddy reportedly fired back and thankfully managed to escape unhurt. An AK-47 has been recovered from the scene of the crime. Dear Sudhir, our editor South is uh, with us live from Hyderabad. Uh, Sudhir, an AK-47 recovered from the scene of the crime, a shocking lapse in security. Well, yes, in fact, uh, what the Hyderabad Police Commissioner Mahindra Reddy just told us is that this AK-47 was in fact lost from the Greyhounds Force, which is the anti-Naxal commando force here in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, and it was lost about 18 months back. How this actually fell into the hands of this assailant is something which the Hyderabad police and the officers will have to investigate, because that's definitely as a, a serious lapse of security, as you were pointing out. I asked him whether he suspects some kind of a Maoist angle to this entire attack, and he ruled it out. But yes, definitely they will have to investigate very closely, given the fact that a, a, some kind of a bad has also been left behind by the assailant. Was there some kind of an attempt to kidnap Nityananda Reddy for, uh, for a ransom amount is another angle that the Hyderabad police would be closely looking at. But given the fact that the KBR park in Hyderabad is something is, a, is an area which is frequented by a lot of morning walkers, obviously this has shocked a lot of people here and security is going to be tightened both in the morning and the evenings as a result of this attack. Simi? All right, top pharma company official uh, attacked in uh, Hyderabad's posh Panjara Hills area. An AK-47 rifle uh, has been recovered. Uh, T.S. Sudhira, editor South, telling us how the police says that this is uh, a rifle that apparently went uh, missing from, uh, from, from, from the security forces and it's now been uh, recovered. They've still not been able to identify the identity of the assailant. We'll continue tracking developments on the ground. A short break here. Lots more lined up on headlines today. Do stay with us.